With less than a month before the NFL draft, I wanted to give my thoughts on who the top 10 prospects are in this draft class. Now, there are a lot of talented players in the 2022 draft class, but these 10 are by far the best. Number 10. Offensive tackle Ekem Ekwano from NC State. NC State had one of the best offensive lines in the country last year, and Ekwano was a huge part of that, helping NC State have one of the best rushing attacks in the ACC. Ekwano is the best run blocker of any tackle in this draft, but he does have some rough patches and pass block. Ekwano has some of the most size and strength in this draft class as well, among offensive linemen. At 6'4", 320 pounds, he can definitely help be an immediate impact player for any NFL team needing a solidified tackle on the O-line. Number 9. Quarterback Malik Willis from Liberty. Willis has been one of the most electrifying talents in college football the last few seasons at Liberty, leading the Flames to back-to-back -to -back bowl appearances and helping the Flames finish as high as the 17th best team in the final college football playoff rankings in 2020. Willis is by far the most athletic of the quarterbacks in this not-so-deep quarterback class. He has the arm strength and pocket awareness you would want in a franchise quarterback. However, like all of the prospects in this quarterback class, he has a few flaws. He has a powerful arm but he struggles mightily with accuracy. His second issue is his footwork in the pocket, two things he can definitely fix with the right coaching and practice. Willis is the second best quarterback in his class, and I definitely think he can be a future star in the NFL if he goes to the right system. Number eight, cornerback Derek Stingley Jr. from LSU. Stingley was supposed to be the number one quarterback in his class just a few seasons ago after helping win the LSU Tigers a national championship as just a freshman. However, Stingley's career took a downward spiral after that as he hasn't played much at all since 2019, which has made his draft stock plummet. Stingley is still a premier talent at the cornerback position and can definitely be an elite cornerback in the NFL. He just needs some time to get back on his feet. Number seven, quarterback Kenny Pickett from Pittsburgh. Pickett was a decent starter for the Pitt Panthers throughout his career, but he never really showed flashes of greatness until this past season. Pickett helped lead Pittsburgh to an ACC championship win over the number 16th ranked Wake Forest Demon Deacons and had the Panthers as the best offense in college football in 2021. However, Pickett has flaws as well. While he has pinpoint accuracy, he doesn't have the arm that Willis has. And of course, the quote unquote big issue everyone has with this man's hands being too small. I do think Pickett is the most pro ready of any of the quarterbacks in this draft, and I think he can definitely be a franchise quarterback for any NFL team, regardless of how small his hands are. Number six, offensive tackle Charles Cross from Mississippi State. Cross at 6'5", 311 pounds, has all the intangibles to be an elite NFL tackle. As a freshman, he was named to the freshman All-SEC team and was ranked number four in the nation on pass blocking snaps, according to Pro Football Focus. In 2021, Charles Cross had 553 pass blocking snaps and allowed not one sack and only five quarterback pressures. Cross will instantly help any offensive line in the NFL and could be the best tackle in this class. Number five, cornerback Ahmad Sauce Gardner from Cincinnati. Sauce Gardner, along with fellow lockdown cornerback Kobe Bryant, helped Cincinnati have the best cornerback tandem in the country, and both helped lead Cincinnati to its first college football playoff appearance. Gardner had nine interceptions in just three seasons as a Bearcat, and never allowed a single touchdown in his entire career. Gardner is a physical hands-on cornerback who can play inside or out. Gardner is by far the best cornerback in the 2022 draft class, and in my opinion, will be a Hall of Fame cornerback in the NFL. Number four, edge rusher Kayvon Thibodeau from Oregon. Thibodeau was an absolute game wrecker in his time as a duck. In three seasons at Oregon, Thibodeau had 126 tackles, 35 and a half tackles for loss, and 19 sacks. At 6'5", 250 pounds, Kayvon Thibodeau has more than enough sides to be a great NFL edge rusher, and he is a menacing physical force of nature on the defensive side of the ball. The main knock on Thibodeau is his love for the game and effort level. While at Oregon, scouts noticed multiple times in games where Kayvon basically took entire plays or even drives off and didn't give his full 100% effort. However, in my opinion, Kayvon will be an immediate game wrecker on a defense for whatever team drafts him. Number three, edge rusher Aiden Hutchinson from Michigan. Hutchinson has been one of the most disruptive edge rushers in the Big Ten for the last few seasons. But in 2021, he put his game into overdrive. In 2021 alone, he had 62 tackles, 16 and a half tackles for loss, and 14 sacks, helping the Michigan Wolverines finally beat Ohio State and get them their first ever college football playoff appearance. At 6'6", 265 pounds, Hutchinson is a problem on the outside and almost unstoppable. Between him and Thibodeau, it's really close. But overall, I think Hutchinson is the better player and the best edge rusher in his draft class. Number two, 
Offensive tackle Evan Neal from Alabama. Neal in his three seasons at Alabama has no doubt been the best tackle in college football. He has almost no flaws in his game. He's great in both pass block and run block. And he's went up against the best defenses in college football on a year-to-year basis in the SEC. While at Alabama, he switched between right tackle and left tackle and showed a ton of versatility. At the NFL Combine, Evan Neal scored a prospect grade of 6.76 and an overall score of 95, the best of any offensive lineman at the Combine. Neal is the most complete and NFL-ready offensive lineman in this draft, and he will shore up any offensive line in the NFL. Number one. Safety, Kyle Hamilton from Notre Dame. Hamilton has the size, length, range versatility, blitzing acumen, tackling reliability, coverage capabilities, and elite closing speed that you want in an NFL safety. While at Notre Dame, Kyle Hamilton used all of these traits right away, having four interceptions as just a freshman. In just six games in 2021, Hamilton had 34 tackles, two tackles for loss, and three interceptions. Hamilton brings the best blend of on and off field brilliance, athleticism, high high floor and high upside in this class. And the safety position is increasing in value in the NFL right now. And I don't care that he ran slower than expected at Indianapolis at the Combine, because I think he can excel in every facet of playing safety today in the NFL. And he by far is, in my opinion, the best player in the class of 2022. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.